for those of you that are in, in, in our world, in that sense, pick that one thing that you champion, that one superpower that you cur- you currently have and how you can solve them, solve that. Right. Cause if you're, if you're, bun- if you're not bundling and productizing your services, then think about it from the standpoint, okay, what's that one thing that I know that I can do and that can scale where I do really extremely well. What's the problem? What are the typical problems that say my client has around that? Take your brand script and go through that with every service that you have. Create a brand script, if you will, for every service that you have. You want to look at it from that standpoint, right? The way in which I personally answer that right now is systems, Mm -hmm. right? We're switching over to more of a systems-oriented type of a process, meaning, okay, if these are the different pain points that you have, do you have these systems installed? If you don't, then how are you leveraging that? How are you solving the problem if you don't have this stuff in place? Right. We may not be able to fill in all the gaps or then basically shore up all of the all of the holes. Right. But we're going to be able to do a heck of a lot, a heck of a better job with installing this system as opposed to you having to learn it and then do it or you having to hire someone else to then do that for you specifically. Right. Well, yeah. And, and I'm, my mind just goes to this. Right. Like if, if what my agency is best at is basically, um, you know, if we're marketing, it's lead gen. If we're making websites, it's basically making websites that convert. Mm-hmm. I want a website that converts. What I'm really saying is I want more customers. And if I want more customers, I want more money. Right? So yep. problem would then essentially be I don't have enough money, which means I don't have enough time. I don't have enough blah, 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 blah. Right? Is that how you would recommend I work that backwards, you know, to try to kind of narrow in on what? I mean, it'd be, it's, it's, I think a little bit more nuanced than that only because I don't know in terms of the prospect, that business owner, where mm-hmm. they are. are. Are they the, I don't have the money or I have the money. I don't have the money or the time, or is it one of the other, the other two buckets, right? I don't have money. I don't have time. I don't have money, but I do have time. I have, or I don't have time, but I have the money. Hmm. Because those are going to be different. And then for, for you, right, in terms of me in solution mode, what are the different ways in which they, you can serve that person, right, that business owner, if they had one or the other? Is it a course? Is it, say, a system that you can install, right, where they would put in certain inputs, but then they're running your system in your playbook? Or is it a custom job where you're doing stuff for them and it's taking time away, but it's more high touch to where it's do it yourself, done for you, or done with you, or done for you? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's still, yeah, just how to narrow it down by what what it is we're actually serving them. And how you're serving them. It could be the same solution, but in just the way in which they get that uh, solution. Yeah, you're solving the same problem. You're right. Solving the same problem. It's just how. Yeah. And then it's also what, and that how is the plan, right? That's the next step in the story brand framework. Huh. Take the course, join our group coaching, sign up one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Here are my here are my free resources, right? Watch all of our content, consume our stuff, download our white papers, right? Or sign up for our course where it's guided for you. So it's at your own pace, right? But it's evergreen. So it's at your own pace. You can you choose to run with it as, as quickly or take as, t- as much time as you need. Go group coaching one to many to where you're in it with a certain amount of other people that may be on the same journey as you or, or high level one to one, high touch, right? Dedicated custom custom team working for you, right? Yeah, that's... That makes sense. And then kind of on top of that, you know, one of the steps of the story brand framework is calls to action, right? Having them in uh, basically around any point where you're talking about the pain, you're offering yes. a solution. So when when we're crafting our CTAs within the story brand, essentially what we're saying is like a call to action that that matches the problem. My problem is a broken window, get your window fixed today you know, stop that leaking, whatever, like the, the call to action almost is the solution to the problem kind of a la old school, uh, Russell Brunson and stuff. Yeah. You know? I mean, absolutely. And you can even be more direct than that, right. In the sense of how, what's the very first step in the plan, right? How do they, like, how do they specifically start to work with you or start that process? Right. So for us as consultants and agency owners, oftentimes, unless it's just like a tool base or a product based type of solution that they can buy off the shelf and they don't need to talk to someone it's more con- consultative right so if it's consultative then how are you incorporating how are you basically taking them down that journey is it a complimentary phone call or consultation it could be paid it could be free whatever it is right is it a phone call is it an assessment 
right? Is it um, whatever it is, right? So it could be, you know, book your call, right? It could also be that it could be that or take the quiz, right? It could be that it could be that um, direct as well. Okay, so we've basically identified that the character is the business owner. The problem is generally like they need more clients. That's why people hire marketing agencies, right? They need more business. Uh, then we present ourselves as the guide. As the guide, we can basically get into it. And we that's where we can say, hey, listen, we understand your pains. We know this. We used to be in your spot. We've helped lots of people like you. You know, in, in essence, that's when you can kind of throw in the the social proof, right? This is where I can put logos of other companies in your industries. This is where I can also kind of get into, um, you know, stats, that kind of thing, um, just as a way of backing up the guide. Then we kind of present the plan, which would be the system, as you kind of outlined. Uh, we have a call to action, which is going to basically answer that problem or let somebody know how they can get started with that plan. Right. Uh, the next step is basically making a really vivid outline of what success looks like for them. So I find when I do this, like in truth, it seems kind of cheesy, you know, like it's like, Imagine here you're beside the yacht with the, you know, with the tan lady or gentleman of your dreams and you, you know, all that kind of junk, right? Like that's not what success looks like. Or even if I'm saying, you know, but for a business owner, it's kind of like, imagine your phone was ringing steadily Monday to Friday, nine to five, but you had your weekends off because mm -hmm. you had systems that were in place where you're making a you know, a, a great living, you're providing for your family, but you still have enough time to enjoy your life, right? Then how do you get the failure in? The failure side of it is uh, consequences if uh, you're, I'm reading it directly from the template, right? List mm -hmm. the negative consequences your customers will experience if they don't use your product or service. Right, what are the pain points? I think about the failure in the sense of like, these may be symptoms that they're already experiencing now. Right. So utilizing your brand script, that's really where you put that. Right. So it may not be at the bottom of, say, the website. It might be at the top where you're calling out a question. Right. Are you experiencing any of these marketing challenges? And you have the things that you talked about. Right. Not getting enough leads, not converting a, a, enough of these uh, leads into actual business, not understanding you're, you're doing all the things marketing, but you don't understand what's working, and what's not working. So you're bleeding out of both ends and not sure what's what's wrong. Right. Hired agencies and felt like you've been burnt in the past. Don't want to go that route again. Hired more of a generalistic person, but then they don't know what the hell they're doing. Like br brought an intern in, hired my niece because she's a social media person from college and doesn't know anything about my business. All mm -hmm. of these different things that they're experiencing now is like you want to just lean in on mainly because you want them to understand and know that you understand the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Also circling back to the, to the successes, that could be another place for you to then showcase your testimonials as well. Yeah. After state. These are the things that you're going to experience after these problems are solved for you, right? In the guide part is like, I understand your frustration. We've been there. We've, this is what we've done. This is how, what we've done to learn how to solve that. And in the success part, these are the people that we've helped to solve that problem or the problem that you're experiencing, right? Yeah. And a lot of times for businesses, what failure looks like is in action. You know, like what I'm thinking of is when we did the sales training with uh, Ray, sorry, I can't think of his last name, uh, but man, I could sell it ass off. <laughs> Uh, Ray Sens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was an absolute monster. Absolute monster where it's like anytime you enter a conversation with him, the only reason you're walking away with your shirt is because he didn't want your shirt. That's right. So you could absolutely convince you like, dude, man, you don't even need it. You're so jacked. You know, or whatever, whatever the approach would be. He was a master with that. But when he was giving us the sales, um, kind of what he would introduce a lot of time was that takeaway of like, yeah, I know this is kind of expensive and, you know, $5,000 seems like a lot, but let's be honest. If you spend $5,000 and it doesn't work for you, are you going to lose your house? No. Are you going to lose your car? You know, probably not. You know, how is your life really going to change except for you need to make another 5,000? But what happens if it works? You know, and then he would get you kind of like, and it's true, right? Like people who cognitively work through that, they understand they're being sold. But in a way, it's just, what does failure actually look like? Failure looks like inaction. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a really good way to maybe implement it in this. And I'm going to try it out and hopefully have an example for you. 
um, yeah. where you, yeah, where we give them the takeaway and then also show them, you know, then again, you show them what the success looks like. So, yeah, I mean, just add on to that same part, right? The, it's like, well, what, what does your life look like if you don't solve this problem? Hmm. If the investment is to then, right, get through and solve the problem, then you have two outcomes. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. But mm -hmm. if you don't even take the option of even trying, right, and you're staying in the same state that you are now in inaction, in, in, in existing pain, then what is it costing you? Mm -hmm. And that brings you right back. And that's why in all the podcasts, they're saying, talk about the pain point multiple times right? Because that's essentially why someone's here. You have to convince them. Like the, the whole point of the story brand framework is I can solve this pain point, right? And this is how, and I'm not selling you. What I'm doing is I'm just, I'm, I'm showing you in, in a story. This is well, how I know that we can do it for you. It's the beautiful thing because as we're talking about this dialogue, I'm just scrolling up and down the brand script template, not mm -hmm. even going into a specific business or anything. And you think about it from that standpoint, it's like, okay, what about the, like, when we talk about, say, that problem, how does it make someone feel internally? What are the external, how is it affecting your business, right? And of the philosophical, right, parts of that, like, what are, there, what are these other gurus telling you that you should be doing? Because the SEO guy is going to sell you SEO. The video guy is going to sell you video, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, so then who do I trust? Because every guru is saying that their thing is going to solve that, right? And that's really, yes. really where the brand script and the process should be able to attract and repel the right people that um, understand that and should be able to literally just help to, you know, convince them that you are the right guy for them or you're not the right guy for them, which is fine. Yeah. Well, I think it really goes back to that thing. Like people like to buy, they don't like to be sold. Right. And really this is what the framework, like to me, this is the biggest strength of it. Somebody's going to come to that conclusion on their own because you've convinced them that the process is going to work for them. I understood the value of the story brand framework. My challenge was I was too close to the problem. I, I was not able to successfully implement that in my previous business. So then I hired a guy who was a, a close friend of mine to be able to do that because I was too close to the problem. Now, circling back and doing that for my own business, it's a lot slower than I, I would normally want to have that. But it's because of those two things, meaning the two things that were one, dialing in my brand script, being more specific with the problems I'm solving, who I'm helping, how I can help them, and then being able to then wireframe my website to where it, it is aligned with the story brand, my brand script as well. So for me, I know it's taking longer, but I also know that for me to, to learn this skill, I have to get more reps in. So if I'm able to articulate that in, in, to other businesses, now being able to do that for myself, I'm going to come away with a skill set, with an ax that's sharper, because not only was I sharpening it by going through this again, but then also hacking and actually chopping and working on that tree because I'm working on this and working through this for, for my business as well. You know, Great point. And, and honestly, one of the things that it, you really have to keep in mind in, you know, in, in marketing or in really anything you're doing in life, like the first version of it is not going to be, you know, like you can't be upset that you didn't get it day one. You know, they, they, it's so easy to look online, especially in our space and just see guru after guru. Out, like, yo, this guy's got 10 mil. This guy's got 10 mil. This guy's got 10 mil. And you realize like, or you, you start feeling down on yourself and you don't actually realize, you know, how good you are at it and how much, you know, like, you know, depending on where you are on your journey, like a lot of times it's, it's only one or two little changes, which is what makes that story brand so compelling, right? When you actually get it down, I think probably the major issue for a lot of digital marketing companies is they have the services, they know how to do it, but they don't know how to do it repetitively where they can scale. I can, you know, I could knock it out of the park for a company for two grand a month, but I'm going to need another 10 of them. And if that one has taken me 20 hours a week, uh, that's not how math works. You know, like I don't have that many hours in the day. And then if you hire somebody, they're not going to be able to do it the exact same way that you do. So that becomes the issue. And it becomes very easy to speak to that pain point if that's what somebody has. You know, like for me, that was the issue when I was getting started, right? I just could not figure out how to scale, right? Other people have different issues, you know, like, uh, you know, could be, could be anything, you know. Um, they don't know how to price. They don't know how to deliver, you know, like there, there's a bunch of things that people can do. So I think it's a good point. Like if you're on the, 
if you're using this on your website, you pick the one thing that you think is a, a real like needle mover for your clients that has proved the the ones who've left your reviews, that's a great place to start. Like what did the positive reviews you already have say? Right. Cause they're going to say this per, you know, Tom did this for me and it was this and this and this, I have so much extra that. Right. And that, that's a great place to start us of knowing the, what you're really good at. Cause like you could put those on your page too. Right. They're going to go a long way for you. Um, before we finish up here, Tom, is there anything else you want to get into on the story brand or. You know, I think just doubling down on that, because once you work through the, um, your brand script, it's going to iterate, it's going to change when you see other examples in the wild, right? You're going to be able to um, iterate from there and add more copy chunks or different phrases in terms of how to say things to your brand script. So that's going to evolve over time, right? So I think it's something that you should be doing constantly. It should be evolving in the sense of, you know, dialing in your messaging, right? You could be saying the same thing, but just in a different way. And however it lands to you first, when you when you publish it, just get your first rep in. Just get your rep in because you can't. It's a lot harder to start from blank canvas than it is to edit something that's already out in the wild that already has some feedback. So I'd encourage you. I would absolutely encourage you just to get started. Hit publish. Start before you're ready. You're already in business. You more than likely already have a website. So you're already already started. So think about this first pass with creating your brand script and using this framework as your first revision right into this process and see how it goes for you. That's all I yeah. want to say. Yeah. Or 800th revision. If you're me. 